Dude, are you? No. Hey, dude. Oh, Casey. Is everyone dressed in here? Yeah. Dressed for success? I'm dressed for success. You ready for this, Ben? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Opening right. morning. How many inches is it gonna? Is it gonna be 200? Is that what we? 200 doing? inches. That we landed at. Yeah. Okay. It is uh, opening morning of the four season. It's early. We will need to get out of here. Right? It's about a 20 minute drive. I'm excited. This is fun. Andrew, are you excited? I'm excited. Bro. Andrew's excited. He's a creepy mirror. Hi. Good morning. Thanks to Casey, though. Let's be honest. I mean, pretty much saved the morning. Pretty much. Dude, you didn't hear my alarm go off? Dude, I totally heard it go off. I was just, well, I, were, I mean, I was awake this morning. Man. You can hear your alarm go off, but Wait, if you don't do anything about it. Light, I can't see. <laughs> Morning. It is day number days is eight on the semi live series, and it is opening morning of fourth season, which means I have a tag. Ben has a tag, and Jordan has a tag. But Jordan's tag is private land only voucher, and there's some good bucks on that piece of property. It's the one where Casey hit that big buck, so we're gonna go check that out and try to put one of those big bucks down first thing this morning. We're gonna get loaded up with uh, Mountain Ops Power peanut butter and chocolate balls. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time ever since I got this invite from Eric, so it's gonna be fun. Opening morning. We're back on opening morning. This is the second opening morning of the season. Second opening morning of the series. This is the fourth quarter. This is the fourth quarter. Fourth season. You know, we're not to the two-minute warning. Half. No, it's the no, second no, it's, it's the second half. It's like the half. second half. Yeah, yeah technically it's the second, second half. We're in the, this is the second half, guys. So, enjoy the show. I'm just chilling right there. Well, it's opening morning here on the fourth season. And uh, we're just driving up the road and we spot this bug. And so we are trying to get a better look at him, but it looks to be a nice deer. We're not sure how nice. What do you think, Ben? They all look nice to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold Ben's bullets, I think. I'm a little upset we don't have the heater on. <laughs> I had to shut the truck off. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just touched the sense thing. Alright guys, it's opening day of fourth season and uh, we just Gonna walk up to this high point and look for bucks. And uh, we will find some bucks, so let's go check them out. Uh, trying to identify all the deer. There's a lot of deer out this morning. It's nice because the wind, wind died down from last night. So we're just identifying everything as quickly as we can. We are glassing in a 360 degree angle right now with 19 spotting scopes. 20 pairs of binos. This is where we saw two big bucks. The other day is where I, where I missed mine, where he was at the other day. We found him, so trying to turn up him. I want to see Jordan shoot that deer I shot. Or somebody, and then there's a bigger one we saw, but we haven't seen either one yet. He's he was skyline on the ridge, and he just stuck. He was walking into the right. Where do you want to go? I want to get on the top of that ground. Don't do it. He, he hates this little problem. deer. More deer in this canyon. We can't see back towards. Guys, it's crazy. There's like just deer all around us. We're trying to identify as many bucks as we can, and so far the biggest, oldest, mature buck is up on his face. They're having a little debate if they want to shoot him or would you dare not. Um, there's some other good bucks on a different property we cannot hunt. But right now this guy's kind of our main focus. He's up there, big old neck, dark body. There's a small buck with him and he is just like so mad at him. It's funny just to watch him like cut him off. He tried to get the doe, he'll cut him off. Really big frame deer, straight for him. Really pretty buck.
there's any more bucks you're going to be on on this flat or they're going to be off the back side. You can see this whole flat from this looking at the point. Three by four. Oh, what's that deer? Where? Right with them? Yeah. One cut to the right? Or to the, the left? left. On that ridge? Crabby four point. Really? Looks like a big body deer. I'm judging by body size. I go by weight of their body. It's a trophy. Guys, we're at the second, no, third, fourth glassing knob of the morning. We are, uh, geez. That's a liability. Could what? you be any louder? <laughs> what? Gosh. I'm just kidding. Ben is a very quiet. Hunter. Humble and yeah, humble, you submissive. Deer, you can tell he's hunting deer a lot. Yeah, yeah. You can tell he's quiet because that's what he is. Are we going? <laughs> Paces around the tree. Full sand in the snow, guys. We've turned up a lot of deer. And a couple good bucks. One really, really nice one that is a solid four by four. Deep forks, big old mature buck, big old body. Definitely the oldest, biggest bodied deer we've seen so far. But they elected to pass and uh, look for other deer. So it's pretty tough to see a big buck like that on day one. You always kind of want to take a look and hunt around and have a good time. And that's really what we're doing. Is we're just having a dang good time. We just decided to hunt together today to enjoy the camaraderie. and Everybody get out here together and I'm sure after a day or two, we'll probably all start to split up. On a second. Look at how he blades on a second. Oh, here's the other ones. Oh my god. Dude. I'd shoot that for you. That is a giant deer. Look at how he's just he's just like his basket. We've got up to the glassing knob today and Eric spotted this massive three by four that's out. It's on a property that we can't hunt, but with the way the does and the bucks are acting, I mean, today, tomorrow, they could come back our way. We've also got another big 4x4 out past his ears. So, he's with some does. There's a lot of, there's a lot of big bucks in here. But we're still gonna have This is a riot. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, it's a must. Freaking rolled in, dude. <laughs> yes. Dude, that worked out perfect, brother. Yes. Sweet. Oh my sure. god. Dude. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Holy cow. Dude. What a buck. What a buck. Oh, that was sweet. 230 yards bedded. And then he just. I saw that one doe kind of get up and she got the rest of them on alert. She obviously was definitely not digging us and he got up and then he came came out like, gosh, he, he came out maybe 10 more yards and turned that broadside right when he turned that corner. I knew I had it right on him. It was over, dude. Jacked another one just in case, but we didn't need it. <laughs> Andy, dude, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Wow, we were glassing all these deer and on cue, Ben said, this is one of those areas, places you just gotta be patient. Boom, Jordan just walked over the hill with the camera guys, and I guess he lost his patience. <laughs> Looking at hundreds of deer. I mean, maybe he shot a giant, I don't know. Should we go over there and see? Opening morning. Jordan had an itchy thing here, I could tell. <laughs> I guess he didn't want his bros with him. Pretty selfish here, Jordan. Pretty selfish. Well, I guess we'll go see what he shot. Oh, that was sweet, dude. He's he's heavy, dude. He's freaking heavy. He's an old buck. I guess I'll just subscribe to the Hush channel and just watch it there. I guess. Yeah, just watch. Just it. relive it with you there. Just relive it there. What did you just do? <laughs> shot a buck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> on cue, we're watching all these deer, and Ben says, dude, this is just one of those hunts. You just have to be patient. Ba-boom! <laughs> What'd you shoot? We shot him. The buck? Yeah. That big one this morning. Dude, where Bit. was he at? So, right here in that, right here in that draw. He was bedded. He was bedded at 200. So, we, we spent some time looking at and him. No and no one like, thought to, like, hey, guys, come over. Come enjoy this. Well, what happened is, is once we got here, one of the does popped up. Uh-huh. We got the rest of them. And, and he stood up, buddy. Him. And stood up. It's over. It's, it's over. over. How far away is he? Like two. He was at 220, and he he, he was in. He was bedded. Uh huh. So he was bedded, quartered this way. Did you shoot off the pack? Yeah, I just put the pack up and just Damn. full send. I'll have to watch. Send it. it. And uh, is that your biggest buck? It's gonna be. Yeah, my biggest buck was last year with the muzzle loader. Kaboom. Kaboom. Kaboom, dude. Sorry, dude. I should have waited for you guys. That's cool. But the uh, doe. A doe kind of got wind of us and Once I, she picked up the rest and he, he stood up and it was like they were going to go at? walking over so I just, he Did came out 10 it? yards and hooked and just it was like dumped send. Him off the knees? Oh yeah, he, uh, was I just, I just set on the pack and just. Dumped him. Had a boy. Yeah, dude. Had a boy. Yeah. <laughs> One and done. This place is crazy. That was cool. Dude. You got the, you'll have to. We'll have to subscribe get Eric there? and relive it, you know, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, you guys. To the Mountain Ops if you guys, channel. yeah, if you guys subscribe to the Mountain Ops channel, then we'll. This is we'll, an, it's an exclusive Mountain. Yeah, this one, exclusive. this one's not going on your Sorry. It's fast. This was a Mountain Ops box. This is, what yeah. is this? Leave him alone for 30, ten seconds and he shoots a buck without me. Are. Some Freaking friend pounded him and yeah. he's done. Some friend. Huh? Let him walk over one hill without you. I'm, a, I'm a terrible. Well, that's why we should have held his right. bullet. I, get, no. I got an extra spotter for my. He's like, hey, let's go. Like we're gonna get over the hill. He's probably gonna be 100, 200 yards. And I'm just looking back. I'm like, is Casey and Ben and those guys want to come? Goodness, dude. Dude. Oh, dude, it's like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory, bro. Look at this freaking Hershey. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries? Schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Oh my god. We <laughs> just shot a monster, dude. What the heck? Holy god. Cheater buck. Oh my god. Oh, so cool. Oh my god. Dude, freaking dude. Dude, freaking dude. 
Oh, look, at dear. Little, look at this little extra right here. Yes. Jordan. I take that back. He's way bigger than that 155, 160. What the heck? Dude. Perfect shot. Shoulder. Yes, dear. Thanks, buddy. He's, he's an old warrior. Big boy. Really cool so black. Cool. Really, 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 really cool experience. Like probably the best two-hour hunt ever. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about fast and furious. And I told you guys, I said, "Dude, you give me a good buck, and I'm gonna pull the trigger." And we did. We that stopped right up on it. Oh heck yeah, pretty. man! That's that, gorgeous, that's, dear. That's yeah. my, my biggest buck today. And I'm, that I doesn't mean, even matter, but he's he's great. He's going cool to be here with friends. That's what it's about. Jordan. I brought my Yeti. It's the th I brought my Yeti. It's the three quarter that makes it good. It's, I, it's a little bit better than the 25. Yeah. Yeah. I like the new this custom, is a custom logo. Yeah. These are. Uh, New Ben just brought out for us to try. Yep. We're going to be hopefully launching these next next year. 26, I think we're coming out. Um, and, uh, yeah, 25 and three quarters. But I think I think you guys are going to round out, right? No, we like to. We do like the metric system. So metric. We switch it. Yeah. It's just the perfect cooler. The only use for this cooler is actually a deer heart. So put it in there. Put it in there. Put it in that guy. And it's good. Luxury of hunting. Uh, a ranch is you have a place to hang the deer and a rope so this is the easiest way to skin a deer hanging up by its back legs and just skin them down oh they're about done okay. yeah Something saddle mountain yeah yeah there's so much carnage i can't tell so I'm Ben from Yeti. We just got done with Jordan's buck. It took him all three hours to kill it. it took us about that long to skin it and get it done. Um, what do you want to? What when you have a chance to to drag it to the truck and bring it back and skin it like we did and cape it out? You want to let it hang as long as you can. I mean, you're looking at you want to keep it from freezing, so those enzymes can do the work and and tenderize the meat for you. You want to keep it, likely keep it uh, from going above 42 degrees. So you want to keep it in that in that vein. So it's cold enough here that this will keep for as long as you want it to. So we'll leave it hang. I mean, if you can leave it hang for two weeks, 10 days, a week, I always like to leave them hang if I can for a week. Uh, if you can't leave them hang, you debone them and put it in the fridge. I've never, right. I, what I've never done in the past I want to do like is make, is make uh, pork bone and pork chops yeah. out of deer. I'll, something I've been thinking about doing. Let's try it. Off from the strap in the short ribs deer. Never done with Look a lot smaller after you take your cape off, though. That's for sure. <laughs> that was a big body deer. Especially with a rut buck like this, I will let them, because I don't have a place to hang at my house, so I'll debone them and just let them in the fridge for two weeks, whatever. I mean, you get that black crust on the outside, you know, know. it's starting to work good. Yeah. When you get that and black I, crust and you hang, do you trim it off? No. You leave the black yeah. crust. Depending on. I, I mean, back in the old, you see a deer, really, you and it just looks it black, and I'm like, Ooh. I leave it on. If there's mold, cut the mold off. Yeah, mold. mold I mean, back in, it. you know, back in the days where there was no refrigeration, they would leave it hang till it molded over on purpose. If there's any mold on that black crust, you got to cut that off. But I'm, I'll leave if a deer hangs like this and his straps are, mm -hmm. are blacked over, I'll leave it on and just slice it in the steaks and back seal it like that and eat it. Yeah. Really? I noticed that right on. I mean, I guess you could. I just don't want to lose any of that meat. Yeah, you yeah. do lose. There's no way to really lose, not to lose some meat doing it like that. But. Guys, here we are again. Out, out in the back country. We uh, got Jordan's deer all taken care of, went and got it hung up, skinned out, cooling down, and uh, went and had some lunch and we're back at it. We we're gonna go check another piece of this property we haven't looked at. It's actually the same place I shot at that deer the last day. And we're hoping he's back. I think he's in there somewhere. But there was two big bucks the last day we went to look for my buck and we found him alive. There was another big buck in there, so I'm trying to find, turn those two up. That's the buck that's the inlines we saw the other morning. Let me put eyes on Bucky Shot. No. I just gotta put eyes on he's a bigger buck. That's the one that has the inlines. Just found he's a big bug. Just above the aspens. He's real 
wide, but the only problem that I don't like about him is on his back left. He's really crappy. Are you guys excited? Oh, I don't have a phone scrub, so I, I'm where I go all look at it, double in line. And you guys can't even see him. It's just day one. We don't even really know what we're doing yet. No, we're just trying to get He's one of the deer I think that we need to get a closer look at. We need to get within 400 yards of him to see if he's a good deer. You guys can't even see it, but I'm not, I forgot to wear pants. <laughs> Weird, huh? What pants? Because he doesn't wear pants. I forgot. I just, I'm so out of sorts. <laughs> it's new country. <laughs> Tyler's so intense. Jeez, how many, how many lenses do we need to make a YouTube video these days, man? One, two, two three, got the vlog cam, got the phone scope. Six, seven? <laughs> All right, guys, it's uh, day one of my hunt. This is going to be the first time that I'm packing a rifle. Earlier, we found that big, giant 3x4, but rumor on the street is he got killed. So I was a little bit bummed, but uh, it made my decision-making much easier because now I don't need to make a decision. The deer's dead. So game plan tonight is to go in where B-Mac shot his buck and see what bucks have moved in to take over those does because there's a lot of them. The good news is we glassed, and we glassed in there from a long ways away, and we saw a ton of deer just from a long ways. Saw one buck for sure, but uh, we're gonna get on a little hike and definitely see a lot of deer. But again, we're gonna be flirting with private land, so we're gonna have to be watching the Onyx map and make sure we're on the right side of the boundaries, and uh, just get a look at some of these deer and take inventory, see what's around, and try to find a big shooter buck. So once uh, Jordan's done with his phone and Instagram, we'll go hunt. All right, cool, uh, double tap, let's go. <laughs> Get closer. Still about 1,200 yards away. But they're not gonna work this way. We're gonna go around this knob, set up, about last light now we kind of took a chance to come in here um, without really seeing a big mature buck we just wanted to get close and uh, we had hunters on the knob that we planned to go in we saw I think four bucks in here nothing big enough nothing old enough but uh, that's a chance we took 
And now we're going back. Look at the skyscape we got going on right now. It's super cool in here. Oh, I don't know, guys. We saw pretty much the entire population of does in Colorado tonight. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it, man. There's a lot of does without bucks. But, uh, you know, we're playing the private boundary game. It's not my favorite, so I think tomorrow we're gonna go on a big hike, just hit the National Forest and uh, maybe do an all day hike. We'll see a lot of deer, I know that. Did you tell him about the goalpost buck? Oh, dude, he's so wide. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, obviously it's like last light and Eric goes and we turn around and we're gonna start heading out and Eric goes, oh my gosh, guys, tall buck, tall buck, grab the camera. So I go and I grab the camera and I get it on it. We pull up. <laughs> He's, seriously, it's a really tall buck, but he's a goalpost buck. Like he's probably not that wide. That wide. <laughs> yeah, I don't see deer like that very often. It's so narrow. So <laughs> Eric's like, I'm not sure if I should shoot him or kick a field goal. <laughs> I said, let's let's just punt, but we're not gonna we're not gonna shoot him. So we punted for the night, guys. But Eric, try it. I'm excited to hike tomorrow. You excited? Yeah. Let's get out and go on a long hike tomorrow. It's supposed to be windy. That, like I said, that storm's blowing in. But, uh, guys, look at this skyscape. I mean, look at that, all right? Today was a definite win. It was fun, good opening day. Got a tag punched, which Jordan is super happy with. Shot a great buck. Ben was able to see what's, a little bit of what's around, kind of new. Uh, hopefully Eric got into him. Eric went to the place Brian shot his buck. So hopefully they found a big one, but see what tomorrow brings. Still have four more days. And uh, thanks for sticking with us, guys.